Hi, welcome back to Adventures with the W's. Uh, today we're going to make a dish called stuffed pepper meatballs. Uh, when we were kids, we have stuffed peppers. Mom made them in the oven. Uh, so today we're going to put together a variation of that called stuffed pepper meatballs. Uh, Nathan's going to be uh, in and out, but he's going to start by helping me putting the eggs in. Yep, so is that good? Yes, you can see everything. Alright, Nathan. Now the weird thing about me is I love cracking eggs. It's very really simple. You get until you have like a crack about this, and then you put your hand in and open it, and that was perfect in order to serve this. Alright, just put it on the table. You get your next one. Alright, you got a piece of shell in there. I did. How do I teach you to get it out? A spoon. Piece of shell. Oh, yeah. The sides of the shells are sharp and they'll scoop it right out. There you go. Got it. Did I? I don't see it, so you must have it. <laughs> yep, it's in the shell. It is? Okay. So, I'll take over now. We're going to begin by adding the hamburger. Oh, it got on my finger. Uh, Sorry, right. you go wash your hands. Yeah, I'll be back. So if you hear some noises in the background, uh, we're having some thunderstorms right now. If our light goes out, it means our power went out. We'll be back as soon as we can. So I hope you're liking the video so far. We're trying to come up with a good variety for you. Uh, if you have any suggestions of things you'd like to see, please let us know. Because we would love to see that. Okay. The other thing we have going on here is the rice. So we're going to do a half a cup of the rice. I'm going to get these open without losing many. Yep, and then there you can see we got a half a cup of the rice. Another thing we're doing with this is uh, one of the reasons it inspired the, the recipe is ordering stuff from Timu, we got some kitchen gadgets. So we're going to try some of them as we go. So I'm going to set this out of the way for a second. And I'm going to get my cutting board. And one of the things that we got was a uh, nylon pepper core. So we're going to use our list to do the peppers. Okay, we're going to start with our green peppers. Uh, remember when you do this to take the, the tags off the side of the pepper. And should we use this or the bigger one, Nathan? That. So we insert this into the pepper. I'm going to use a bigger one. Not too big. So it goes into the pepper. Just so it's on the top like this. And then I use twist and you pull it out. And look at that. Pretty much all cord. Can I see? Let's show that to the camera, Nathan. It comes out. 90% of the seeds are gone. Just gotta wipe them out now. Hello, my name is. Quit talking to the pepper. <laughs> So now we're going to do the next one. We're going to take the... Can I do the next one? I'll hold this. Alright, stop. Because you got to put your hand on the bottom yeah. so you can feel when the sharp part starts getting to the bottom. Yeah. Now twist that. Other way. There you go. I'm going to pull it out. <laughs> Look oh. at that. <laughs> Look at all those seeds. Now just tap out the other ones. That looks good. So that kitchen gadget <laughs> from Timu worked great. So, one yep, one for one. Wow. So now the second gadget we got from Timu, it's not really a gadget, but it's one that I use all the time. It's a chopper. And this one came with like a sharper edge. So that way you can cut pretty easy. So it's like a little knife. 
that works pretty good. Now we're going to chop these up into some little pieces. Because we're going to add these to the meatballs, so they've got to be pretty small. So I'm going to go ahead and pause for a minute while I get this done. We'll be back as soon as I get them all finished. Yep. Hi, welcome back. Okay, so we'll use the dicer that we got from Timu. And as you can see, and I could have done these smaller, but it got it just right for the meatballs. So I'm going to put those in now. We used about one and a half green peppers for the recipe. Now, we also like to eat green peppers. So I diced, sliced the other ones up to use a veggie dip and other things. There may be sometimes they just grab one and eat them. Another tea move by we got, as you can see here, it goes over and the bowl. Is escaping. So no matter what size the bowl, it has a little elastic fits right around them, and you put them right in the refrigerator. So it saves drain up extra Tupperware and dishes. They come like this, and then when you need them, you just grab the sides, and they open right up to about whatever size you need. And you get, I think this came with a hundred, and we keep them in a container that we picked up from Dollar Tree. So, excellent. Thank you. Put that back in the kitchen and put these in the refrigerator for me, please. Refrigerator. Yep. The back one will work. No, that one. Okay, so we're going to set this out of the way. Bring the mixing bowl back in front. And now we're going to need. Salt and pepper to taste. So that just depends on you. I like more than the family does, but we're going to do about half, three quarters a teaspoon of pepper. And we're going to do a whole teaspoon of salt. Let me get that mixed in there. The salt helps bring out the flavors of everything. Okay. Also, we're going to do just a guesstimation about a teaspoon and a half of onion powder. A little more. I try to do it on top of whatever I'm mixing so I can kind of see the size of it. And just about two teaspoons of the garlic powder. We like that a little extra because we like garlic. Okay. We'll be back in a second. We're going to get this all mixed up so we can start making our meatballs. Hi, welcome back. For those of you who are still here, it's getting better as we go. Everything is all mixed together and ready to become meatballs. So we have in the, the green peppers and all the seasoning. The eggs are in there. So now we're going to try our third Timu gadget. And these are for meatballs. When we bought these, they came in a set of two. A small one and a larger one about twice this size. The bigger one didn't work. It was broke. Uh, but Timu has a fantastic return policy and they credit us back for that immediately. And we just ended up throwing that one away. Didn't even need to send it back. Excellent return policy. So, we have three gadgets. We are two for three. Let's see if we're three for three. It's our first time using this. So let's see what we get. Okay. So there's excess on the sides, but that's okay. The sides are clipped together. We'll clean that off. Top and bottom where the excess squeezes out. Now I'm going to open this and voila. That looks good. We have a meatball. So let's do another one. All you got to do is dig into the hamburger and squeeze. And the excess comes out the top and the bottom. You just pull that away and open up. It looks like you can eat it already. And it'll drop. That one came apart a little bit, but that's okay. It goes right back together. And we'll put them in there. So, 
there's two. We'll go ahead, we'll finish these off, and we'll be back in a minute. All right, welcome back. So we got the meatball maker, and it worked excellent. I would say this does them about five times faster than roll them by hand. Uh, the only advice I would give is make sure that your, your hamburger or what you're making the meatballs with uh, is cold. Uh, the more that it warms up, the fat and the meat makes them stick a little bit. But that was only towards the end. Other than that, it worked great. All right, I'll see you at the stove. Thanks. All right, so we're on the stove. Um, when we got it done, I didn't want to stack the meatballs into the main saucepan. So I have them in the saucepan in a skillet. We're going to brown those. And then we're going to add the liquid ingredients and finish them off. So we'll be back when they're all done cooking. Hi, welcome back. Uh, we had a little glitch and the photo was on, not the video. So I'll catch you up real quick. The meatballs are done. We add them to the big skillet, the saucepan. Now you can see them in there. We're going to simmer those for about 20 minutes. Nathan added the, the tomato sauce and he did a really good job. Now we're going to add that in and we'll be back in a minute for the final step. See you soon. Okay, welcome back. The meatballs are done. You can see we have Nathan here for a taste test. And sometimes we add some Parmesan cheese. Nathan, would you like some for your taste test? Yes. And also, the supper, we're having garlic Parmesan mashed potatoes and homemade garlic bread. So, this turns into a real good meal. How's the potatoes, Nathan? Good. We also have some milk for the So, okay, we're getting ready for the big test. Sorry about that. That was new. I didn't realize that. What? Cheese. I had to open it. Uh, All right. Get it? Don't eat the whole meatball. Good deal. I have to wait till Nathan's through chewing before he can talk. But I'm guessing it's good. All right, so join us for other fun videos, food, recipes, and any other adventures we might come across. We look forward to seeing you soon. Remember to like and subscribe. Do all that good YouTube, YouTube stuff. stuff. And as Nathan says, see ya.